Hi YouTube, this is Kimberly, and this is going to be an unboxing video uh, for the new Finfolk Mythic Tale. Uh, Finfolk Productions is a uh, known uh, mermaid tail company where they make these custom beautiful silicone mermaid tails. Uh, for the longest time they were just um, custom made ones and um, they could be pr uh, pretty expensive uh, due to the fact that they are custom made um, by an artist and uh, such thing would uh, have a bit of a hefty price, but they've come out with a line of Mythic Tales, which has a size range, which uh, is on the cheaper side, so um, more production, uh, and uh, these could be uh, just basically more people could uh, afford them. So uh, this was the pre-sale that I had purchased for, and this is mainly just going to be an unboxing video, not a swim test, because it is still February. <laughs> and it is very cold. So here is just when I initially got the box. Uh, it came with uh, the order slip and uh, an introduction paper with uh, instructions of how to take care of the tail and how to wear the tail and such as. And it was uh, well boxed too. A lot of bubble wrap. Love some bubble wrap. So here's me basically trying to rip through it and um, first time seeing the scales and everything about them, and I actually originally uh, thought that the scales would be uh, silicone too, but they're actually made of resin, this um, heavy-duty resin, which is uh, kind of nice too, because I, I like, I, I've always liked the feeling of resin um, myself, and um, I have liked them in, in other projects that I've seen. Uh, I fear, though, that it might make the tail heavy, but I've seen um, other people sewing them, so it doesn't seem like that, it just feels like that at first. So here is um, the tail originally coming out and just feeling those scales and that silicone fin for the first time. Still ripping it out. It's very well packaged. I have to say it's very well packaged. So here we are still going in. Still trying to get it out. <laughs> it took a while. But I found, yep, just easier to lift it out via bubble wrap. We'll push that box to the side. We'll refocus in a moment. And there it is. Oh, it's so cool. I just really like feeling the scales too, as you can tell. <laughs> so it was um, really nice to see it for the first time like this too, and to lay it out and to uh, visualize it. Uh, just to give a uh, more description of it, it, uh, the scales are made of resin, and the um, uh, the fins um, are, and ta the tailpiece are made of the silicone material that you would see in some of uh, Finfolk Productions' um, custom tails. Uh, the lighting, though, is um, the kind of fabric that you would see in swimsuits, and it has a bit of a stretch to it too, so that's nice. And the uh, the zipper is well hidden too. Um, so when you, you zip it down and you can uh, slide yourself in, you know, zip it back up. Um, it's sort of hidden by that, um, by, by the silicone fin and also by um, a little bit of a flap at the top. And there's the tail, part two, it's nice. So we're gonna lay that out all nice. Get rid of that bubble wrap. So much bubble wrap. And there's the tag. Um, and here's an important thing to make sure that your tail does fit before you remove that tag. Um, much like any other kind of merchandise, once you remove the tag, it cannot be returned. Um, so keep that on uh, and make sure when you try your tail on that it is the proper size. So here's some more up close of the scales. And they are nice. I haven't had any fall off yet, too. And um, I've, I've, I've moved this around quite a bit from... Uh, in my room and into storage for now until I can uh, do a proper swim test. Uh, I've known some people who've said that uh, they've had scales fall off and that has that has been said that um, before you purchase that uh, scales will uh, because of the nature of the tail and the nature of the activity of the tail scales will fall off so they do include um, extra scales that can be sewn on. So here's a more view of the tail. It's very beautiful. Can't wait to see it move in the water. I've been seeing some videos on Instagram of um, 
people who have gotten their tails moving around in it. And up close with the scales too, and how they are sewn on. Yeah, it's just very beautiful. And here we are, still more of the tail. And then that's me dropping the camera a bit. And it's just, it's, it's so well made and so well put together. I'm very impressed by it. Uh, and I found that, you know, laying flat, you can kind of see a little bit of the, um, the fabric underneath. But, you know, once it adheres to your body, um, those scales go over and it seems pretty seamless, actually. So, and just a bit of a test like that. It's, um, and it looks very durable, but it's, it's pretty heavy, too. So I am worried about that initially, but uh, on, the, on the paper that actually includes it, it does say, um, do not swim alone anyway. Make sure you do have um, someone there uh, as safety, and I think that should be a rule with any kind of swimming, especially out in the open ocean. But yeah, very nice. I really like it, and I hope, can't wait to do the swim test. So I'll see you soon. Tonight we're running on the right track.